line 486 begins the definition of our handler instance variable called view update handler and this instance variable is used to help us update the graphical user interface from the GUI thread of execution whenever we need to display new text on the screen or display a toast message on the screen. As you can see we assign it a new handler object and we are overriding the handler objects handle message method which allows us to do custom message handling using the view update handler in this app. As you can see it receives as its argument a message object which is going to be the message object that was passed to the view update handler by calling the view update handlers send message method and based on what that message uh, contains we're going to do some processing in this switch statement. So you can see here that the what piece of data inside of the message object is an integer that is going to match up with one of our integer constants that we defined back at the beginning of the class. If the constant is pizza.updateTextID what we're going to do is display the current message that the app is speaking on the user interface so the user can read it as well as hear it and uh, you can see here that we do a little bit of logic to figure out the actual text that will be displayed and then message text dot set text places that message on the screen if the case is pizza dot final update text ID we're going to place the final message string on the screen and we're also going to speak the final message string as well and then finally if the case is display toast ID which we use to display a couple of different error messages throughout the app in that case we will use toast.make text to create the actual uh, message that will be displayed using as the message text the received message objects arg1 which is an arbitrary integer and that piece of information is actually a string resource ID the way that we call uh, send message or with a message object in this app the make text method is going to use that string resource ID you can see the second parameter is res ID which stands for resource ID it will use that to load the appropriate string message and then display a toast on the screen for us when we call show on the toast object that's returned by make text